My name is Gerald Hornung, but I use the nickname Jed. Jed has been a Red Cross volunteer for 70 years. I was the national president of the American Junior Red Cross, which in those days was a very patriotic organization just after World War II. Hornung started in high school when he led a group of young volunteers from 17 different states traveling across the country, speaking about how to help others through the Red Cross. I became a very fine speaker in my youth and won lots of contests. I became a state champion debater and a national champion orator and extemporaneous speaker. And it's the way he speaks that Red Cross staff say still captures attention. He has uh, just sort of an air of a, of a gentleman about him, which is not something you see very often anymore. He's extremely well-spoken. He is incredibly kind and polite. He's kept trip. detailed records um, of where he went speaking so, for the Red Cross. And, and while the organization yeah, has yeah, changed right over the years, mouth. Jed shows that Maybe some things the stand here. the test of time. The Red Cross is all about compassion and action. And Jed is really just an embodiment of that. And I'm hopeful that even our effort in the youth organization would inspire others to be leaders, give blood to the Red Cross, to be of service, and seek to be in a position to make the world a better, peaceful place. His decades of dedication earned Gerald Horn. My high school Horn, won what was called Jed, the title the of Red Cross Alpha Everyday Award, Hero. Which is given in Shelburne, to the Renee Wunderlich, NBC high Five News. In the United States. Well deserved. We're going to be profiling all the everyday heroes over the next few days. The awards will be presented Wednesday at the Doubletree by Hilton in Burlington. Tickets for the event are still available.